Hi, welcome back to another uh, exciting video presentation on live self therapy brought to you by stemcellmalaysia.com. Now, first of all, what is live self therapy? Uh, live self therapy is basically a transplantation of live cells into the body for the purpose of disease treatment, repair of damaged organs, tissues, and cells, beauty, as well as health rejuvenation. Now, life self therapy is essentially based upon the foundation of cell therapy. So, uh, it is necessary for us to have a brief overview of the history surrounding cell therapy. Okay, now, uh, Dr. Charles Edward Brown Seagat uh, from 1817 to 1894 is a Mauritian physiologist and neurologist. Uh, he injected basically live animal testicle extracts for anti-aging and sexual prowess. That was in the early uh, 1800s. However, the incidents there yeah, did stir up quite a bit of controversies uh, because of the material that he used. And then in 1912, okay, uh, Dr. Alexis Carroll, a French physiologist and biologist, and he's also a Nobel uh, Prize winner. He demonstrated that for the first time in history, the revitalizing or the rejuvenating effect of young cells on a culture of old and degenerated cells. In other words, he showed that you know uh, young cells, okay, cells which are not matured yet, um, can actually revitalize us. Uh, uh, the old or matured cells. And of course, the modern day pioneer of cell therapy and life cell therapy uh, is none other than the late Dr. Paul Nihans uh, from 1882 to 1971. Okay, um, he's from Switzerland, uh, of course. Uh, and then in 1931, uh, Dr. Nihans discovered cell therapy by chance. Basically, he was invited to do a transplant, uh, something to do with the uh, thyroid. And, but when he arrived there, he saw that the patient was in severe convulsion. Now, before he go to this uh, uh, do a transplant, he dropped by his animal lab, okay, where he actually take the organs from calf. But when he arrived there, he saw the patient's lady um, was in severe convulsion and there's no time to do the uh, surgery. So uh, at that moment, um, he basically cut open the organs and put it in a solution and basically inject the solutions into the patient, the lady patient. And, and that is when he discovered the effect of the cells. Okay. Um, and that lady went on to live until in the 90s, okay? From that incident onwards, Dr. Nihans, um, uh, before that, he has always been doing a surgical uh, transplant or implantation. From that incident onwards, he has basically uh, uh, abandoned the practice of surgical implantation and um, use only implants through injection, okay? Now, um, how does life cell therapy work? Now, life cell therapy through injection or oral in ingestion, life cells um, is basically more superior than surgical implantation or surgical transplants. Now, some of the advantages of um, uh, using injection or oral life cell therapy are the cells themselves can spread throughout the body very quickly. Okay, and of course there is no surgical, um, no surgery involved, and therefore there is no lack of blood supply or loss of blood. And also they find that the cells can quickly integrate it into the metabolism of the body. Okay, and then when you inject or in ingest, okay, whether you take it orally or by injection, the body actually can naturally select or reject the cells. Okay without causing any uh, harmful side effects or allergies. Now, the human body usually accepts, what they observe is, they usually accept 
uh, with little rejection if any if you inject the individual cells or or you know um, uh, consume the individual cells during uh, the life cell therapy or life or cell therapy the reason is that you know uh, you know the reason that they they believe what is happening is because the cells used in life cell therapy are basically embryonic cells okay and these embryonic cells have yet to be to have a very mature immune system or immunological com composition so it is believed that because of this point the individual cells or stem cells can actually um, get past an adult body's immune system uh, which is more mature Now, when they also observe that when you inject or consume individual cells or stem cells, okay, uh, they will naturally or somehow end up at their corresponding organs. What it means is that okay, the liver cells or the liver stem cells will end up going to the liver organ, and the kidney stem cells will end up going to the kidney, or, or the um, uh, uh, lung cells or lung stem cells will end up in the lung. So actually, they actually proved that using radioisotopes basically is something to uh, that you can trace the uh, uh, movement or the um, pattern of motion of the cells. So they use radio radioisotopes to tag the stem cells or cells, and they proved that the injected or the consumed cells actually end up at their specific relevant organ. Now the power of life cell therapy, you know, a cell from, from biology, from cell biology, we know that a cell from a specific tissue or organ or gland has the information or the message necessary to regenerate the entire organ, tissue or gland. So what they have done is in experiments, they actually extracted, you know, um, uh, from the chick embryos they extracted the kidney, liver, and skin cells. And what they do is they process them, okay, just as though, you know, um, um, the uh, doctors or, you know, or the uh, 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 scientists would process those cells as though they were used for cell therapy. They process it the same, okay. And then after the process, they would inject the cells or the processed cells into an egg membrane. And then these cells, were able to develop into uh, the corresponding organs. In other words, the the uh, kidney cells extracted from the chick embryos are able to develop back into um, uh, the kidney organs, and so also liver and, and the skin as well. Now, <clears throat> from this experiment or similar kind of research, they made three powerful uh, observations or inference. Okay. What they realize is embryonic cells or tissues have the maximum stimulating effect on growth. Okay. Um, now, and they also observe that the growth stimulation is actually organ, or tissue, or gland specific. They are not species specific. What that means is that it doesn't matter which animal it comes from, as long as it's from the animal kingdom, the you know, the stimulation will go back to the uh, organ. In other words, if you use a, a kidney cells from another animal, and it will actually stimulate the growth of the organ, maybe in human or in another uh, different animals. So it's not, it's not, it's, in, it's not animal specific or species specific. It's actually organ to organ, tissue to tissue, or gland to gland. Okay, and they also observe that the. Uh, uh, the body is able to screen the cells, okay? Any, any stem cells or cells that are unwanted are actually re rejected, okay? Are actually blocked without causing harm to the body. So these are three powerful uh, inference from uh, the research uh, regarding life cell therapy. Now there are some theories on the revitalizing power or the rejuvenating power of uh, life cell therapy. Now, from cell biology, we also know that a stem cell actually contains all of the uh, genetic information or message uh, that 
uh, this message and information are actually in the DNA or the RNA. Okay, and it's a bit technical, but it doesn't matter. So all these information are inside this DNA and RNA, and this information can be used to form an entire organ, a tissue, or a gland. So one of the theories states that the information or the message in an old cell, okay, or in a in a in a in a damaged cell is actually defective or or damaged. Okay. Now when you place young cells uh, uh, to young cells next to the old cells in the damaged part of the body or the organ or tissue or whatever, um, the theory says that the correct or the young genetic information or message can passed on to the old cells and this new younger more lively message can be passed on to the old cells can be communicated to the old cells and that's why uh, uh, these type of cells have the ability to actually repair and to rebuild um, the damage or the old cells okay that is one theory now there's another theory that states that as the cells age, they actually begin to lose the ability to function properly or to the way that is intended to be. So when you put in the stem cells, they can actually stimulate some form of secretions and which then reactivate or regenerate the old or the aged cells so that these old cells can recover and function properly again. Okay, these are the, some of the theories that are trying to explain the uh, rejuvenating power of life cell therapy. Okay, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope the information inside this video uh, have helped you understand a bit more about life cell therapy. And for more information and articles, uh, please visit our website at Stem Cell Malaysia uh, at stemcellmalaysia.com. Thank you. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.